Hello, you're welcome to my tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about the summation of xi from i equals 1 to n and then the multiplication of xi from i equals 1 to n. So these are the formulas you want to implement. You are going to learn how to write a pseudocode and also how to implement it in MATLAB. So let's first assume that our x is, is a box containing what edges. Okay, so we have some box containing edges, say 1 two three four dot dot do, so many ages so these are ages of some people or students so the summation of xi from i equals one to n simply means that we are taking the indexes of the x and then summing them until we get the last element in the x okay so this means that if we were to do this manually we will say we'll take we'll take one and add it to two which will be three then add the three to um three again which will be six and then add it to four which will be ten and we'll do this over and over and over until we get the last element so because of this we can implement this with a for loop in programming since it's a repetition we just take the first index add it to the second index add that one to the other index so we are just adding or summing up what if it is a multiplication of x i from i equals one to n so what we are also doing here is that we take the first element and then multiply it and then go to the second element multiply it with the previous answer we have gotten so we we'll also do this over and over and over so let's see how we can write a pseudocode for these two formulas so for the summation we'll first have to have a variable which is going to contain the total summation okay so we'll call that variable total sum and then since it's a summation we'll set it to what zero and then what we do and I told you before that the moment you see a summation and the multiplication formula those two they can easily be implemented in any programming language using the for loop so when you see those two what should come into your mind is what a for loop so we say for i equals 1 since we want to start from the index of 1 so i equals 1 towards n we don't know the number of elements inside this particular box okay so we, we represent it by n and then let me just end the four but in the four what do we want to actually accomplish all that we want to accomplish in this for loop is that we want to sum all the elements inside the x so because of this we say total sum is equal to total sum plus x i so what does this mean so at the first run i is going to be equal to one it will come to this box here and at the first index we have one so it will pick at x index one whatever value it is and then add it to what total sum so after it has added it to total sum it will store it back into total sum since this is a for loop it is going to continue over and over and over until it gets the last element inside what our x so which will be the n so because of this it will continue and then summing up and summing up so when we finish the code the total sum is going to contain the whole summation of what the elements but how do we also implement this using the multiplication with the multiplication all we have to do is to change something very small in our code so in the second formula we are going to use total multiplier which is or total multiplier is equal to what one so why one we are going to multiply all the elements inside the x which is a box or the number of edges we have and if you multiply zero by any element you get zero so if you set the first element to zero it means you are automatically going to get zero okay so because of this we set it to what one and then when we multiply it we get the numbers or it multiplies up and then we write it as a for loop since when we see all of these things they are for they are all for loops so we say for i equals one towards n okay and then we end it end the for 
so in the for loop what exactly do you want to accomplish so what we want to accomplish is that we take our total multiply multiplier and then we initialize it with total times then x i so at the first run total multiply is called one it will come to x index one which is the i when i is equal to one take whatever value is there multiply it with total multiply which is one so at the first instance you're going to get one then it will store it back in total multiply and then to go back i will be equal to two come and pick the second element from here so when it picks the second element it's going to use to multiply whatever value we have in total multiplier and then it's going to store it back so it will do this over and over and over and then when we finish you are going to have the total multiplication in the total multiplier variable so this is how to simply write the pseudo code for these two uh, formulas so let's see how we can quickly um, implement this in matlab so this matlab i create a new script and then i'm going to save it as formula to be able to implement this in matlab we are first going to declare a vector please take a look at my other tutorials the vectors and matrices if you don't understand vectors so we are first going to declare a vector called x and we initialize it 1 to 20 okay so this is a vector and then what you are going to do is you are going to sum all the elements in this vector so this vector is equivalent to saying something like 1 two three dot 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 do, do, up to a 20. so that's what this simply means okay so this is also a vector so for the summation we say total sum total sum is equal to zero to begin with and then we initialize the loop and say for i equals one towards the length so instead of n we now use the length of what x which is our vector so the length of x will return how many elements there are in the vector or x and then let's end the for so what we want to do in this for loop all that we want to do is sum the elements the vector so we say total sum is equal to total sum plus then we say x then we put in i okay so this is what we are going to do so as i've already explained when i is equal to one it will go into the x vector pick the first index and then add it to total sum so it will do this over and over and over until it gets the last index so this is how to simply implement the summation formula in matlab let's see how you can also implement the application formula in matlab so we say total multiplier is equal to one so since it's a multiplication we initialize it to one and then we say for i equals one i equals one to the length length of what x so i have said that the length of x will bring how many elements there are in the x vector so let's end the loop first and then what we want to do in the loop so we want to say total total multiplier is equal to total multiplier times what x taking in the index i okay so i've also explained this one it will go into the um the x vector which is right here and then pick all the elements one by one and multiply it with the total multiplier okay so to do this over and over so to be able to see this let's print the answer so we can use the this function to display for the values of any variable so we say display total sum and then this and then we'll come to this place too and then display the total multiplier we'll say display total multiplier so let's run our code and then see what we get so i'll run it here Oh, okay so i made a spelling mistake it's supposed to be length so right here yeah. so it's supposed to be length so let's run the code again so as you can see here we have this 
um, as our answers so this came from the summation and this came from what the multiplication okay so this is how to simply um, implement this in MATLAB thank you for watching and if you like the video and it made you understand something please subscribe to my channel and then like the video